Hello guys, and welcome back to Arcanum, where I am currently over here in the workshop, back in Caledon. Um, uh, been kind of busy. Uh, well, busy earlier today. Um, I basically did what I said, uh, which, gosh, I actually have to think about what that actually was. Uh, I checked the quest in Ashbury. Uh, where I had to convince people that it was alright to build a statue and stuff. Uh, to then check if Willisby uh, would return in Tarant. Turns out he doesn't. Uh, and it was not the 10 intelligence that, that I required to finish the statue quest. It was 11. Maybe because I'm an elf? I don't know why. But uh, I needed elf... Uh, I needed 11. Not the Dutch word for 11. Uh, to, yeah, be able to give correct answers. Or, you know, answers that were good enough. Um, so I did that. I also went over to Blackroot. To check on the shipbuilder. Um, turns out, yeah, I can now just straight up ask for, you know, how much it costs to get a ship. And it is 50,000 gold. Um, I'm not even close. Not even close. So, did that. I also know where Virgil is now, so we're gonna do that shortly. Uh, I also did his quest, uh, for Hieronymus Maxima, Maxim. Uh, he wanted proof that his flying machines worked. And, well, I had to actually look that up, because I just ran to the blimp crash site and, well... Didn't seem to trigger anything there, so then I thought, you know, running around uh, the starting area just reminded me of Erstez and the camera. So I got that camera again. There it is. And I think that's a unique description for it as well. Um, and I believe that is what he then requires, because that, well has pictures of the flying machines, I guess. So let's go talk to him. Uh, I brought a camera with images of your fly machines flying. Uh, that would be a m medis or a medical arachnid, I believe. Medical arachnid. Hmm. Thanks, I guess. Um, so we now have an ara arachnid. God, I'm sucking at talking now. Um, so I might as well just read that. I'm never going to make any, but, you know. Got to do something with the uh, schematic. So let's, uh, let's see. Whoa. That's not what I wanted. It's not what I want. Now I want to simply use. Use? I believe I. I did try this. Can't drag or anything, so. Ah, oh, there we go. There he is. Will he actually follow me? Will it follow me? Doesn't look like it. Oh, no, it does. It's just super slow. So click it again, you can pick it up again. So that is actually kind of cool. That is actually kind of cool. Well, on for the second thing to do here. And Caledon. Or hell, maybe even third or fourth. Because there's actually a bunch of things I haven't actually done in here. And one of the things is related to uh, a certain half ogre running around naked now. <laughs> Which is uh, admittedly a bit strange. It's not, you know, entirely normal, but here we are, I guess. So we need to be in the sobbing onion. We've actually been here before, but uh, I, I talked to. Yeah, Rosia. 
a, a guy who uh, I'm pretty sure belongs to the Thieves Guild, uh, who doesn't want to talk to me, because I'm not a member. But there is in this corner, which is really hard to see, uh, a trap door. And there's Virgil. Now these guys are actually pretty good. I mean, sure, they they still got their ass kicked by us, but I mean, they're pretty good. They last a while. Bound sword, eh? Cool. So Virgil's dead. Uh, I then, you know, looked around here. There's barely anything to really use, but there is this chest. With Resurrect Scroll. So, guess what we're gonna be doing? How about Resurrect Virgil? Let's talk to our buddy. What the fuck was he doing here? Greetings, my friend. It seems... Well, it seems we both have come a long way. Thank you. Thank you for bringing me back. So, Virgil, what happened here? These men. They were the men who killed my brother, Lawrence. I had come here tonight to confront my past once and for all. I knew that it would most certainly lead to my own death, but I just couldn't run from it any longer. So just to point out that I haven't actually heard this. I just got to this point and went, you know, spam clicked, so I didn't hear or read anything. So uh, can you tell me the story, Virgil? Yes, it no longer holds any power over me. Before I met you, before I met Joaquin, I was very different. I was a criminal, really. An evil man. There's no other way to say it, and I don't mind admitting it to you now. I lived my life like a dead man. Well, at least in the sense that I used to view such things. I cared very little for anything at all. I lived only from moment to moment. No sense of right or wrong. I stole or lied or even killed with no thought for morality or consequence. And the men I associated with were the same way. Such lives feed upon themselves. My family moved to Caledon when I was younger. Lawrence and I were close in our early years. But the life I chose to lead as I grew older was repulsive to him. We finally had a falling out. At the time, I didn't care. The dead have no family and remember not their pasts. This place... It's a place for the walking dead. A place where men gather to feed their darker sides. I knew it well. Too well. I spent a lot of time here. Time and money. I also gambled with men who make a living doing so. And one night, I lost more money than I had. I was threatened physically when I couldn't pay. But what is pain to dead men? I laughed and bled and spat on them. It was only then that they threatened to kill my brother if I didn't pay. Of course, I thought it was only a threat. And really, in the end, I didn't feel anything about the matter. I'd left all that behind me. Or at least that's what I thought. I can't tell you the pain which tore open my very soul when I found Lawrence. Bleeding and broken. The life got out of him. I cursed myself and the gods and everything else I had forsaken. And I ran. I ran so far and so fast that I don't remember anything until I woke up on the doorstep of the Panari Temple, where Joaquim took me in. I was just saying that I came here tonight to face my past, and to avenge my brother whom I betrayed. These men were the men who killed him. I knew that I wouldn't survive, but the weight of his death and my cowardice were too much to bear any longer. And here you found me. So, can I ask you a few questions? Yes. Of course. Hmm. Hey, you should have told me. I would have helped you. I know you would have. But this was a journey that I had to make myself. <laughs> this all sounds so bloody serious, doesn't it? This wise and introspective gibberish doesn't fit me very well. I'll do my best to put a cap on it. But it has changed me for the better. And I thank you once again. All right. Yes, of course. Um. Yeah, tell me, Virgil. Was it worth it? Do you feel that weight any less? Well, you already said yes, right? But let's ask anyway. Yes, 
I... Well... I saw Lawrence, you see. I saw him on the other side. He didn't really speak, but I felt that he was at peace. That he held no ill will towards me. That lessened my guilt. Allowed me to see that those choices I'd made were made by someone else. Another man. And that I had left that man behind. The other side. Tell me about death, Virgil. What was it like? It was... well... peaceful, I suppose. I remember very little. I have memories of a grey place, warm, silent. There was no pain there, no suffering. And I remember feeling that it was boundless. A place that was no place, not a prison nor a punishment, but freedom without end. You sound as if you enjoyed it somehow. I did, in a strange way. You've no idea what it's like to let go of everything that constitutes our struggles in this life. Pain, greed, envy, guilt. It's liberating, even in its emptiness. I can honestly say that I wanted to come back, to finish what I began with you. That a small part of me wanted very badly to stay. And I think that I carry that great place with me always. A small piece of death. Hmm. Yes, of course. Well, I'm glad... Well... I'm, I'm glad you're back. Will you join us again? I do not like to travel with that many people. It makes me uncomfortable. Was there anything else, my friend? I must depart. If you need me, I will be meditating outside the Panari Temple here in Caledon. So, this is why Chukka is in, uh, you know, his undies. Um... I'd like you to do something for me, Chukka. Chukka, I think it is best if you go back to Mr. Bates. And off he goes. And by off he goes, I mean he'll just stand there. Hello, my friend. It is good to see you. What is it you need? I was wondering if you'd like to join me again, Virgil. Yes, of course I will journey with you. As your protector and as your friend. As if I've got a bloody choice. Aren't we all just pawns of prophecy? Hmm. And something else. I'm not sure, but I think that something has happened to me as a result of all this. I may be better equipped to face Aranax when the time comes. Oh God. Is that is? You know, I, I I'm re I've read that bit. As you know, an, a game mechanic. So. Does that mean I have, or it's better, it'll make the final battle easier if I complete every companion's, you know, story quest? God, that, that is a pain. Uh, I'm glad, Virgil. Shall we? Yes. Let us continue on. Let's... Let's leave the uh, half over just standing there. There's really just nothing here other than, uh, you know, the Resurrect Scroll. So, bullets, a fancy pistol. I'm not even sure how much that is worth. Quality hammer. I have to say, these guys were strong. And a repeating rifle. Sounds pretty cool. And up we go. So now we have a pretty cool party, I'd say. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm happy to have Virgil back. He's he's just part of the crew. He's been there from the you know from the get go. You can't just leave him. Edward will. That's where. He th huh? How would the. F well, you can tell from my reaction that I did not know that he was there. God, all the shit I did. God. Oh, that's painful. That is so very painful. Right. Of course, here it is. I did what I felt was best, Mr. Willisby. No, no, that that can be 
read as in, you know, I took a bribe, but I don't like what you're insinuating, Willisby. I will not be tr Fuck! Ah, uh, that means I'd have to go way back. Well, shit. I, I knew I knew I didn't do too well, but God. Um, yeah, that sucks. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna attack the guy. But still, fuck. Well, I mean, I, I guess it is fair enough. I guess it is fair enough, because I did kind of poorly. But, um... Yeah, that's kind of embarrassing. Um... Well... Job done is a job done, I guess. But that doesn't make me happy at all. Has it also finished that quest? No, apparently. Well, there's also another quest here. God, I feel really annoyed now that I totally fucked up that master quest. Yeah, I'm not happy with that at all. Um... So is the chief inspector on the murders, uh, where we went into that house. And there was this locked trap door, uh, so that was actually worth mentioning to him to uh, proceed that quest. Um, so let's do that. I have new information to discuss with you. Uh, apparently I don't. Maybe I did that off camera and saved over it by accident. Guessing that's what happened. Um, well, that means that there is a new murder scene, and I don't know which house it is at. Wasn't the one down there in the south? I'm guessing it is in one of these little houses up here. Oh, no, I remember. I, I, I remember. It was at the inn, actually. God, just go like that. It was uh, in one of the rooms at the other end. The toadstool or something. I forget its name. Oh yes, of course. Go through the window. Why not? Yeah, I'm really pissed off that I fucked up that master quest. I would have been happier if I hadn't found him at all. I think. Yeah, I think I would be. Uh, so that's the toadstool, okay. But it's the mushroom in, I guess. Because that's the in part. So, yeah, I guess we just go into one of the rooms. Till we, uh, you know, see a corpse, I guess. Oh, right, there's a guard standing here, so this has to be the, uh, Yep. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> nice. You see a word? Lana Mal... Lana Malach. Lana Malach. Written in what appears to be green blood. Yeah. There's, you know, some lying there. So clearly, there's something to be found here. Hmm. Now this game does actually occasionally really hide intractable things. Even important items for quests. Like I, I, I stumble, I think it was in a Minsk or the Misk uh, residence that there was just a little note under one of the drawers or something 
and that basically 